Hi little ones, this is Dan Farrell. I'm Jed Atkinson from Gentleman Husbands and you're live in limbo. <laughs> from Live in Limbo. We're talking with Gentlemen Husbands live at Downtown Park. Now, first of all, you've played a couple uh, festival days. Like you just played Blues Fest in Ottawa. Yep. Um, what do you find is like sort of the biggest differences between playing to a festival crowd and playing to a club crowd? You know, the Probably the sound is one of the biggest things, depending on uh, sound guy and monitor text. I mean, most of the festivals are excellent, but uh, that there's just sort of a difference between the sound that you get when you're in a small room and on a big stage. And that's kind of a, a, an adjustment when you go from playing you know, a club with a couple hundred people to a festival of thousands, right? So, the environment as well. Cooped up in a little tiny venue, like five other bands. And uh, then when you're at a festival like this, just kind of like a campsite, you're always hanging out, walking around, and sitting around in a tent like this and eat. Alright, now you haven't actually put out like a full length yet. You still just have demos and uh, EP. Yeah. How have you found the response to the closing? Really good. Excellent, actually. I feel like, uh, you know, you can really um, kind of stomp on your own foot if you put in a record too soon. So, uh, and uh, you'll see a lot of bands, and a lot of the UK bands and a lot of the big American bands follow the same kind of, kind of uh, process. So I think that the response from that has been that we have out now has been just as good, if not better, than putting out a record. So. And I read on the internet that you are planning on going into the studio in the winter? Yeah, hopefully, yeah. That's all kind of up in the air. Right now we're just uh, demoing and, and writing the songs for the record. We'd like to have, obviously, a large selection to choose from to choose the best song. So hopefully in the winter we'll make it in, but nothing set in stone at this point. Yeah, that you, um you all used to play, or three of you used to play in a hardcore band before yep. that? Yeah, that's right. What sort of, what's, what's the sort of transition from going from hardcore to sort of rock? It was, uh, it's kind of weird, because uh, we all had, well, our guitar players had high gain, like Mesas, and like 50 on 50s, big and like, yeah, big amps, and so I, pretty much immediately after we said, screw this in the hardcore business, so, uh, they went down to little tiny amps and like kind of cranked gain on which because we haven't quite figured it out yet, tones and how to just chill out on the instruments a little bit, and I always just wailed like I was still an hardcore band. Yeah, it was quite the uh, weird transition. It's definitely a learning curve. Oh yeah, for sure. It's like we were never in this genre before, so we kind of had to start from the bottom and learn everything as we go. What hardcore band were you in? Uh, we were called Cobra. So you were in. Uh, yeah, I was, a, I was in a few hardcore type bands. Well, speaking of Cobra. Do you find that sort of coming from that area, coming from like the sort of outer suburbs, that, sort of, that influence your sound at all? Do you sort of take it? It's, it's, it's funny, we get a lot of questions about, you know, coming from the small town and people asking, like, do you want to move to Toronto and, and that kind of stuff. And honestly, the answer is no, because we live at home for free. It's very cheap to live there. It's an hour drive to come in. Um, as far as the sound goes, I think that you know, with the internet and technology and everything, everyone's exposed to everything anyways. So I don't think that it's not like in the old days when the sounds were kind of crafted in one city. I think that it's, um, I don't think that we sound like a small town band, if that, if that has its own sound, but I mean, it's, uh, it's certainly a good way to save money. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so that's that's very important at this stage. Good luck on the stage today. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you.